Hey guys, welcome back. <coughs> I'm joined with, uh, joined by, excuse me, Alish, Chris, yeah, and uh, we're about to cast the Gar versus Lothar game, which is the one I'm personally really excited about. Two good friends of mine. I'm happy no matter who wins. Uh, but yeah, uh, we just saw Ekop advance over Moody, mm -hmm. three to one. Uh, what do you guys thought about the top eight so far? I think everyone in the top eight is a real great player. Uh, either uh, if it's one of the invited players one or one of the qualified because it was, a, it was really hard to qualify, pretty mm -hmm. strong groups. And uh, the, the match we're about to see uh, features two of my favorite players, okay, Gar and Lothar. Mm -hmm. I really respect both of them and I'm pretty excited about what we are going to see now. Cool. What do you think, Alish? Any any favorites going into this? Uh, to be honest, I'll jump right into it. I actually favorited Gara to win the whole thing. Uh, so my favorite to win this match and the whole tournament actually is Gara. Finally, <laughs> someone's on my side. People <laughs> keep asking me in the beginning, they're like, "Who's gonna win the tournament?" I always say Gara. I've been doing it for since last June Hack Bucharest. No one's ever Next on my one? side. Next one, Gara again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So <coughs> my favorite is definitely Gara. I think. Uh, in this meta, he has one of the best knowledges of the game, like of the meta itself, of all the matchups. Uh, he knows how to play every matchup to the dots, and I think that what is really gonna come into play. I don't think it's gonna be easy, but I think Gar should win. Definitely. Uh, looking at their classes, uh, you know, I could read them all off, but no one's going to remember ten classes in a row or write them down. So basically, uh, L Lothar ended up getting his hunter banned by Gara, and Gara got his warlock banned so hunter is up for gara even though he's like 20 and 0 with it in tournaments as he <laughs> said earlier in interviews uh so gara feels pretty confident uh i expect for our first match uh hunter versus priest i know lothar is confident in his priest deck it seems like the best deck against hunter and you can pretty much guarantee that gara is going to open on hunter he's pretty confident in it uh even knowing uh even if his opponent knows that he's going to pick it so i expect hunter versus priest do you guys uh curse do you see any other uh way this could open up? I'm pretty sure Gar is going to go with the Hunter. I think he will be really confident about it. And uh, I agree with what you said before on stream, that Hunter actually doesn't have that of a bad matchup versus Priest. It can certainly win against it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, uh, it really depends on what uh, Warlock does Lothar have, if it's Zoo or if it's Headlock. Uh, do we know that? or? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think the matchup is the same, in my opinion. I think it's... Yeah. Well, I think... Uh, it's not quite the same. I think Handlock is a better matchup than Zoo. But mm -hmm. I mean, if it involves actually a Zoo, I think actually Gara could open up with Rogue, and Rogue could destroy all of those four decks. Like That's true. Yeah. Uh, so in my opinion, like, uh, Rogue could be a really good starting deck if uh, Lock is not a Handlock. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, like, everybody knows Hunter is Gara's most favorite deck, most probably, yeah. and he destroyed every tournament with it, so... I don't think we've seen Lothar bring out the Warlock yet, so mm -hmm. it's still kind of you know up in the air which version it is. Could be either one. Uh, there's Lothar. Uh, you know, I'm sure. I'm sure all our viewers at the moment are taking screenshots or getting front page of Reddit.com/slash Lady Boners again. Lady Boners. Yep. I was actually asking him like, how did he get there? And he's like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, Kev. Alright, well, <laughs> Lothar seems confident as well, though. He's been doing well with the Druid deck that he's been playing. It has, like, Violet Teacher, Power of the Wild, kind of like an older token style. Uh, also Loot Hoarder, which is interesting. Tough to fit that card in, usually. Uh, I expect if Lothar doesn't open on Priest, uh, in expectation of Hunter, then he will open on Druid. Um, because I feel like Lothar is confident in that Druid deck. He thinks, you know, the, the matchup against Hunter is probably not too bad. Uh, what do you think, Curse? Do you think that... Druid, Priest, or any, like, Warlock, what, what would you expect Lothar to open on? Um, I think he might go with Druid. I saw him play before versus uh, Priest, mm -hmm. and he was pretty strong. I think uh, it really benefits from the fact that most Priests have got uh, Pain, so the word Pain. Mm -hmm. So they don't have an easy way to deal with the teachers that he's playing. Also, I, I am personally playing Pain in my Priest. I yeah. think it's really, really useful, and no, uh, not most people have played Yeah, it's really good right now. Undertaker, Doomsayer, just helps with all the yeah, tougher matches. Yeah, Priest is made if you Pain and Doomsayer is such a good tempo. So he might go with that. I, I think he won pretty easily, so he might be confident with it. And I really like it. Yeah, I mean, the druid is the deck that, like, 
it can lose to everything, but it can win to every against everything. Yeah. So I mean, even they are bad matchups. If you get the wild growth in a raid thingy, like he can defeat everything. So I mean, Druid. We've seen some really good Druid runs in this tournament. In the qualifiers, for example, Logan uh, went like eight zero in those first two groups uh, with his Druid, yeah. which is pretty impressive in my yeah. opinion. Like against the hunters and stuff. Uh, it really depends on the build as well. But I mean, as I said, Druid can beat everything, so it's a really good starting uh, deck as well. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking up Druid this tournament. They've been really perf impressed with its results. They're saying it has a better win percentage than Hunter and all that. Personally, I think it's because Hunter is playing a lot of mirrors, so it's also losing a lot when it's winning. But uh, what, what do you think? Has there been any deck that really stood out to you this tournament that you think kind of overperformed compared to what you expected going in? I think uh, Druid certainly did well, but uh, it's not one deck. There have been s several different builds, so you can't say like mid-range Druid won everything mm -hmm. because we see a lot of tokens, we see a lot of ramp, and every each one of those builds is a, a very different approach. It's like comparing Zhu to Handlock. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually liked how Handlock has been doing, especially versus Hunter, because after the nerf, some some pe uh, a lot of person, a lot of people have cut the Hunter smack. Mm -hmm. or only run one so it actually improves the matchup a lot uh, we've seen uh, life coach win a lot of games mm -hmm. and other players and uh, i love handlock so i like it i like yeah. that it's doing so well yeah me too it's definitely a better matchup than it used to be i, I actually think uh handlock's like slightly favored by like five percent it's almost a coin flip but Far yeah, I would disagree with you. He I actually asked me about that. He yeah. told me that you, yeah, you're on my side with that. Like I, I think it's like close, but I think handlock is a bit of an edge. All your cards <laughs> are just so good. <laughs> it was so yeah. funny because I was talking with life coach and Faramir at one point, and Faramir said that Hunter is about seventy percent uh, against the handlock, and life coach was like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> <laughs> and he just like started to shit talk him. Shout yeah. out Faramir. Life coach also you. thought Paladin <laughs> beat things, which was uh, I don't know. You know, life coach is off on some matchups as well. Yeah, so. maybe, but. I I think it's pretty correct about this one at this point. Yeah, definitely. Well, uh, they're ready to get into games. Let's take a look at Let's what see. they ended up going with. Is it Hunter versus Priest? I think it's Hunter versus Mage. Whoa. Oh, it's Hunter versus Mage. Oh, wow, interesting. Uh, interesting. Is this aggro Mage? Because if it's mid-range Mage, this is about to be a stomp. Yeah. Uh, like, Lothar, as, like, a seed story cap, he played a lot of this Mage, and he had really good success with it. Mm -hmm. So I think he really likes this deck. But, I mean... To play this deck and leave open Hunter and play against Gara, who is really known to play Hunter, it has some balls to actually. That's ambitious. Maybe yeah. he overthought it and thought Gara would try to like next level him with mm -hmm. not playing Hunter. Yeah, but I mean, like, uh, like Hunter and Rogue are his best starting decks for Gara, right? Mm -hmm. And both of those decks actually beat this mage. I agree. If it is the mid range one that we think it is, you know, mm -hmm. if it's a more aggressive mage deck, uh, you know, like Leper Gnome type stuff, then. In that case, I think it's it's fine against Hunter, but yeah, if it is the mid-range deck with Ragnaros, Duplicate, all the slower cards, it's going to have a hard time against these decks for sure. Well, we've seen a Polymorph already, so it's probably a mid-range version. It's probably mid-range. Mm -hmm. Like, Lothar was playing only mid-range last, pa pa past like three weeks, uh, if, he, if he played Mage. Makes sense. <coughs> Ooh, double bow. Good curve aside from that, though. <coughs> these opening hands from this Mage deck sometimes just feel so sketchy to me, you know, like... Yeah, it can be sometimes unstable, like if you just draw your polymorphs fireballs at the beginning of the dance, yeah. like the start of the dance. It's like the hand. It's really awkward. Oh jeez. <laughs> On the other hand, here we see the Undertaker web spinner. Uh so creeper next turn. Do you guys think this Undertaker card is any good? I'm a little skeptical. I mean, after it beat me to five six at turn three and double three four at turn two, I mean it's pretty it's pretty decent uh, yeah. a card. Is a five six on turn two good? Oh, that's pretty big, I guess. No, yeah. turn three. Turn three. Oh, turn okay. three. But the double three four at turn two. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's it's like, I mean, double dark cultist turn two. I, I, I like that. Yeah. The potential to grow more. Like. That's a good time if <laughs> you're the one playing it. Okay. <laughs> it's a card you got to respect. I didn't play it, by the way. I was the one who was playing against. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, here we see the mad scientist. Um, yeah. In, in all honesty, this is... This is gonna, uh, in my opinion at least, I see this matchup going the same way it usually goes with you know mid rangey slow deck against Hunter. Hunter's gonna play some little dudes with death rattle. You know the other deck's gonna take a bit of damage at a time. Eventually it'll play some really inefficient cards to try to slow the game down, but it keeps taking three or four damage a turn, uh, and then kill command happens and they're not alive anymore. But yeah, is if Lothar wins this game, which I think we agree he's disadvantaged, how do you think he'll do it, Curse? 
maybe by getting those fireballs and bursting him from uh, from a tw 15 life point or something like that, along with a fireball. But I think he's in a pretty tough uh, spot because uh, the double bow will help the hunter uh, maintain the board while pr press for damage. He has a snake trap, which is pretty hard to deal with. You can't uh, uh, play around the hunter's board. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I think uh, even though he had a frostbolt for the undertaker, if he didn't have a frostbolt, this w game would be already over. I, I agree. Yeah. In my opinion, how you actually win this matchup is that you don't take much damage for first seven turns then you play ragnaros which is a snake play like mm -hmm. and then you just win with the ragnaros that's pretty mm -hmm. much the only way how to win this matchup as a as a mage in my opinion so see a heads up play from gara here even though he has two eco horn bows and a good target to attack and three mana he decides to play the snake trap instead because he knows that he wants to get that procced as early as possible uh, before the AoE mana comes out, you know, before he can flame strike, so uh, pretty solid play. You know, Lothar can't not attack with Mad Scientist, so I think it was a slight misplay. Um, he should just attack the face, just to show the freezing threat. Um, with the uh, Mad Scientist. Oh, with the Mad Scientist. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, from Lothar. Slight Definitely. misplay from Lothar, uh, but yeah, probably. Uh, oh, and the counter. There's a lot of nerfs. This is a lot of nerfing in Corona, so it's happened. And there's probably gonna be Igor Bow here. Just start slamming the face, maybe. Do you even care about the scientist? Uh, I mean, I would attack it with bow and go mm -hmm. face with the rest of it. This is a cool oh. play, too, though. I would trade Haunted Creeper off right here. Oh, yeah. Which isn't a play I would usually make, but yeah. And after that, play bow and go face? No, just Cobra. Oh, yeah, Cobra's good. You want to get Cobra down before the AoE mana. Mm -hmm. Let's see if he agrees with. Yep. Two more damage taken. Or, I mean, one more damage kind of. Yep, playing really well. Uh, Hunter's kind of underrated in its complexity because it's a deck seems so face roll when it's beating you, but when you play it, it's really easy to mess up in mulligans or just attacks, just like anything else, I think. Mm -hmm. Mulligans are really important in Hunter. Um, but if you look at the Lothar's head, like, what do you do there? Like, just you probably go to Arcane Intellect this turn. But Hope then what do you do next? Like, next turn, he's going to take 6 to 8 damage just from the face. Ah. And also, like, important to say in this deck, like, this mage deck is something like Root. Because you actually, to defeat your opponent, you need your minions on board. And then, for the finish, you play those fi Ragnaros or those Fireballs. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's not happening right now. And I think it's going to have some really tough trouble if Lothar wants to win this game. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's got all the Kieran Tours. Let's go. Uh, he must be hoping for a secret right now. Yeah, Hunter has board control though, and we all know how snowbally that gets once you fall behind. I don't think actually Lothar can win this game now. I don't think so. Yeah, it's probably pretty much no way. That's how I felt on turn two <laughs> when I saw the hands. <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to like call something really early. And, like turn two stuff can happen. Like yeah. spells can happen. I mean traps can happen that can like mess up Hunter's play. But for now it's just pretty much over. Well, Sylvanas is down, and he's going to be taking more damage to the face. He's already down to six on, on the board. Mm -hmm. And that's lethal. You just Hunter's Mark face and hero power. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch chat would agree. Oh. So there's Liak. More damage coming. I mean, it didn't really matter if it was with Liak or Hofra at this point. Yeah. Just on board. Oh. And that's Leak in this game. Mage doesn't have any heal whatsoever. Oh, Hunter. So fun. Right? What do you think about Hunter now, actually? I mean, it's the best class. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh my god. It's always been the best class. For a long time. It just took us a while to figure out how to build it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the you know the buzzard part of it got nerfed, but Nax Ramus gave more to Hunter than just about any other class. Web Spinner is one of the, like, it, it just is like the best one-mana minion in the game. I think it's better than Undertaker, actually. Web Spinner is absolutely absurd. One mana card draw. It procs your Undertaker, which is the other broken one drop. Even when you're not playing Undertaker, you have Mad Scientist, which is probably just the best creature, <laughs> period, in yeah. the game. <laughs> like, it's two mana, card draw, and two two. Remember, <laughs> for a week and a half, nobody good. played that card in Hunter. I remember. And then Value Town I played it happened. immediately. You I did? played it immediately. All right. Yeah, why wouldn't you play it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do 
Yeah, I guess how people get excited about it. So. Yeah, I played on ladder a lot. Nobody was, nobody was playing hunter. It was a lot of priests though, because everyone knew dark cultist was insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was a minion <coughs> it was missing mm. because you didn't have strong um, class minions. Yeah. So now we can see Lothar is singing about the warlock, um, which makes me think it's probably uh, Zulog because actually Gar showed him that he has a hunter's mark in deck, and. I mean, Warlock is fine, like, Handlock is fine as well, but, like, he is Hunter there, I mean, Priest there, and Druid there, which are a much, much better matchup against uh, Hunter, yeah, that's I much easier. I think Warlock uh, pick would be pretty weak there. Yeah. I think but it makes sense. he has sense. better picks to do. I think, I think Warlock, Priest, and Hunter all have almost the same percentage against Hunter, uh, which is close to 50. I think Priest is a little bit better. It depends how you build it, obviously. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think actually Lothar plays the Undertaker Priest. Oh, that's uh, very good against yeah, Hunter. Exactly. I'd be surprised if he didn't pick that thing. <coughs> Zombie Chow completely changes it. Yeah. If he has that, sure I think it. he will pick it instantly. I'm not sure he if he doesn't even it think it, he isn't even considering it. Mm -hmm. yeah, if he's not considering it, maybe that does mean it's the Pyromancer list. We haven't seen a lot of Undertaker Priest. Not too, not too often. Uh, it has performed reasonably well, though. A little bit higher variance in the quality of your opening hands, but it's a good deck. Definitely. Okay, so he goes for Druid. Um, okay, interesting. If I'm correct, he plays a slightly faster Druid with, like, Hound Troopers, yeah. Uh, with Lovala Teachers, the Power of the Wilds. So yeah. Ooh. That's going to be actually quite good against the Hunter. Yeah, it's a great hand. Coin, double Haunted Creeper, <laughs> it's exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. And then he has Power of the Wilds to follow it up. He's playing double combo, maybe. Oh, definitely. I'm a bit curious about uh, Gara's hunter list because he's playing knife juggler and uh, and tracking, which are you know two cards we don't usually see. And I see a lot of knife juggler on ladder, but I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, but still, yeah. Oh, jeez, that interview. What do you though. think about the double uh, undertaker in uh, hunter's, hunter's hand? I uh, think if you can follow it up with one one drop, mm -hmm. it's good. But if you cannot follow it up with one drop, that's not really good. I think he, he needs to play the map. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I go face. Yeah. Killing Haunted you Creeper is so inefficient every time. Mm -hmm. And if you can now you give him a free, a free trade on your Undertaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can kill him Undertaker. I go face, I guess, as well. I agree. Alright, so Gara has one of the best possible draws in the entirety of Hearthstone, but Lothar's draw is not too bad either. Uh, a few a few weak top decks from the Hunter from here on out could definitely allow Lothar to stabilize. If Gara makes this attack on Haunted Creeper, all it'll take is a Wrath, and those Undertakers are gone, so yeah. this is a big decision, actually. That that one at This one attack could actually throw the entire game. I agree. That's actually what is really important to say, like, those matchups can be decided by small things that are not really able to see for like normal person, but like uh, if you misplay them a little bit, it can go really wrong. Mm -hmm. Gar ends up making the correct play, and now all of a sudden, Lothar is very far behind. He's got to make the wrath play this turn. Do you innervate the haunted creeper or just save the innervate? I think I actually I innervate the haunted creeper in my opinion here because you have the power of the wild to follow it up. Yeah, um, I, I will definitely innervate it too. Mm -hmm. You need the board presence. You have the follow up. It always hurts when you have expensive cards like Solana stuck in your hand, but yeah, it's yeah. probably not that good against Hunter to begin with, so not a big deal. And Hunter is beginning to run out of cards. Mm -hmm. If you deal with the both uh, with both of the Undertakers, you're on a good spot. All right. So strong opening from both decks for sure. Going second in, in games like this where so many cards are exchanged early usually favors the person going second mm -hmm. because uh, they just have one more card to work with and a coin. That high main draw is huge, though. So hard for Drew to deal with that. Mm -hmm. But it will have to wait three turns. So mm -hmm. I feel like Gara's hand is like low on cards. That's exactly what it needed is some high impact. Yeah. Yeah. Also, the really point to say is that like that high main is going to be, since Gara is playing first, Gonna be there first before the Sylvanas, so mm. mm -hmm. that's important. Say that as well. Or maybe, or maybe not. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> that's a great draw. Jeez. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. Do you, <coughs> do you even like uh, kill the Mad Scientist with well. both creatures and yeah. then power? Yeah, that's what I would do. Or you could uh, kill the Undertaker. 
As uh, your both your guys would die. Yeah, okay, he could have. Okay, so you have two options. Your opponent is either left with a mad scientist and you have four one ones, yeah. or your opponent is left with Undertaker and you have four two twos. Uh, the two I like two. Four two twos. Yeah, yeah I think twos. Twos. Well, is the two twos are better. Um, because then you, I, I wouldn't even kill the Undertaker with the two twos. I would just go face with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, like you play double select draw and stuff like yeah, that. Right? Sylvanas um, could be the next turn, so it's uh, it's good. Mm -hmm. This is actually an insane draw from Druid. Oh, it is. Like that's what happens when you get double innovate. Like you can mm -hmm. play your hand early on, like your whole hand, and then you just like wait. What are you gonna do next? Yeah. <coughs> Power of the Druid. Now, if he does kill a scientist, you know, freezing trap will deal with one of the spiders. Uh, I could, I could see snake trap coming into play as well. Yeah, what will you think if you saw an explosive here, killing all the <laughs> all the spiders? Man, I think you have to. Well, so okay, that's highly unlikely. I don't think you have to test for it, but hmm. okay. So tracking could get a death rattle minion. That's a big deal right now. The scavenging hyena doesn't look too good yeah. though. I think you want to track in here. Yeah, it's just get your options. I agree with that. I wonder what trap you got. Would uh, would knowing that you have snake trap affect your play at all? I mean, not really, uh, because you don't want to play the hyena. If it's a snake trap, like you know, they're probably gonna play hyena. That's the only thing you can mm -hmm. like think about. The bow is pretty good. <laughs> the bow is actually pretty good here, I think. Uh, yeah, I think you, you have the trap down. Yeah, you have the trap. The down animal is always good, but mm -hmm. I think the bow here is better. And you kill a two-two with it. Mm -hmm, I think probably. So. You kill the other one with the undertaker. Savage yeah. with, with one of, of the other two with the trap. It's I mean, if it's not explosive. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not explosive. If he yeah. goes face, it's explosive. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, if, if, no, if uh, he damage. wouldn't go face, I think, if it's explosive. He would just keep the weapon, I think. Yeah, killing the minions definitely seems right. I mean, Lothar had a double innervate draw, so, you know, while that does give you early board mm -hmm. control, it also means you don't have that many cards to work with because you're two for one in yourself mm -hmm. to play your minions. So. Yeah. That that Savannah high main is basically just game if Gara can have the time to attack with it a couple times once it comes down. Although Sylvanas might have something to say about that, we'll see. Yeah, so it's a freezing. That's uh, kind of unfortunate for uh, Gara. He really wanted snake trap there. Do you attack the Undertaker or do you attack face? Because if, you if you got snake trap, you kill the Undertaker. At 100%. Yeah, but the three snakes. Yeah, yeah maybe attacking face was better. It's a tough call. I actually don't think so. Like. Uh, you want to play the Sylvanas uh, Silvana this turn, and you just don't want to give your opponent Sil uh, Sylvanas for free. Mm -hmm. So, that's the reason you can buy me, hide it for me at least, anyway. Makes sense. Alright. Comes down. So, now he has a kill command and a web spinner, doesn't he? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And a hyena. Oh, hyena. Hyena, me. hyena, actually. So you kill command and attack it, and then... Alright. Oh, yeah. And the Savannah next turn is so strong. All right, so guards managed to stabilize the board. We can kind of see one of the strengths of Hunter is just Savannah high main is so powerful that in some cases you don't even need to be the aggressor early game. You can kind of mm. control the board, kill their stuff, and oops, oops, uh, you know, Savannah oh, high main. What are you going to do about it? Like, and oh then oops, second high main up. <laughs> yeah, I think when you draw the Savannah, it changes your whole uh, game plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Flare's not bad here. It's going to let him attack the, the Shade, which is Whoa. a big deal. And then my company needs to be next as well. Um, now if that's Huffer, that how does that affect insane. your play? Oh, that's even better. That's yeah. so much better, yeah. So Leper Gnome time, I think? I think <laughs> I think so. Leper or uh, Street Sword? Uh, actually, Hero Power is better, because if you s swipe, uh, yeah, swipe. swipe. If yeah, swipe, you don't yeah. want to overextend. Just want to say it right after that. And you can play it next turn with the Savannah. Mm -hmm. Right. So he's gonna draw. Let's see what he gets. Talnos doesn't do anything. Yeah, he's not waiting it. Oh, you probably and facing. that Misha is so annoying because it's uh, when it dies, when you really want to kill it, then the hyena is just busted for aggro. So not your main. Mm -hmm. It's not exciting for Lothar. I don't see him winning this game at this mm -hmm. point because we know that Savannah High Main is probably coming up next turn. Alright, I like the Blood Mage play more than Hero mm -hmm. Power. It's yeah, the draw. Definitely. You got to check it though.
So question here is, do I think you have to kill Talos uh, in case of swipe coming up? Just want to play the high, high main. Yeah. Do you kill it with? Mm, I guess yeah, the hyena. No yeah. reason not to. Yeah, kill it with the yeah. hyena. It's a hundred percent because you don't really want to give him just the free armor, uh, the passive up to kill it with the passive. Uh, but you have to kill it. Yeah, and then go safe. I don't see how do we can come back to kill. Okay, so both are Ooh. struggling now. Not too many cards because of uh, all the innervates drawn early game. The wrath helps. He a gets bit. swipe from the threat. Yeah, but still. Still. He will even be able to live. He would have to wrath it differently. Oh, that's that would be the okay, I guess. Yeah. That's no, I mean, for the swipe, it, it for the swipe, it, uh, for yeah. swipe to be important, you have to wrath it. Okay, that might be one of the best rows out of Rats you could get, but still. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Another high man. That's what I was saying. There's one high man. There's a second high man. Same trap, boys. Yep. Yeah, the game is pretty much over here. What if he gets another Talmas? And a swipe in one turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that didn't kill half the high mains. And double silence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, no, it would actually kill the high mains, snakes, and another high man. You would leave a two, double two twos on the board, but yeah. Okay, he needs poison seeds into Starfall. Uh, that oh, one as well. Yeah, that, that but that's fun because it's 9 mana, right? Yeah, yeah, he's got that next turn. <laughs> Seems to draw both those cards. Just play Poison Seeds <laughs> next turn. Don't next turn anyway. Uh, 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 no, you're at one. <laughs> you got a chance. <laughs> you got a chance with Poison Seeds. Nah. <laughs> okay. We've been just trolling a little bit, guys. This game is pretty much over. I'd go face with everything. Uh, yeah. so Because there's the difference between him being at one or two. Yeah. Because hero power would make him not good to... Mm -hmm. But that makes sense to play. Uh, it really doesn't matter. As long as Gara plays his cards, doesn't uh, AFK and, you know, uh, a meteorite does not hit him <laughs> before this game is over. This uh, should go his way. So, what can he play next? What Probably now he will go for the Warlord. I think the best play is Concede. Yeah. Alright. Well... Gara takes the 2-0 lead with his hunter. Uh, you know, I don't think it was a big surprise that he would pick it. He said he would, and uh, well, proving why uh, why the people banning hunter so often are kind of justified in their decision. I think. Definitely. Uh, Walter can just go for the threes now because if he goes for the threes, he's gonna hundred percent lose uh, the other games later on. Mm -hmm. So I think handlock. If it's handlock, it's a smart combo that I pick up but right now. Even if it's two, it's still a better choice than to play it. Oh, it's, oh two. it's two, two. Okay. Because mm -hmm. he needs to three zero. It's a good deck to try yep. to three zero. Yeah, if any deck can three zero, Zoo is it. I, I do think that handlock is better against Hunter than Zoo is, but it should still be a, a matchup that can go either way. Getting coin is a big deal. I think the person with coin is a big advantage here. Yeah, sure. And uh, I think uh, it. Uh, it comes down to what traps uh, Hunter plays, mm -hmm. and did he play some lease, maybe? Yeah. But uh, also the bow is pretty strong in this matchup. And snakes help a lot as well. That's a good draw. Mm -hmm. A much better play. Uh, now do you attack? I don't like that as much. Like you're throwing away a point of life, which is important. Mm -hmm. That's an attack he's going to make anyway. Yeah, it's a tough call. Because now he's just going to take a point of damage he didn't mm. need to take. Yeah. Or worse, really. Hmm. Oh, we'll see. If he played anything else other than Hunt Creeper, it, wa it would be a big mistake to attack before because the other guy can just buff the 1-1 mm -hmm. one one and trade up. Exactly. And go to the one. Definitely. Fortunately, the Hunt Creeper isn't so easily to kill. So easy to kill. Hunt Creeper is really important in this matchup. Uh, those 1-1s. One are gonna be doing a lot of work in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a pretty strong. Uh, what do you do here? Just go knife juggler, and that's it. Did he coin? But yeah. Did he coin the abusive? He won board. Like you need to stop the thumbs now mm -hmm. for the next step. Yeah, that one hit is actually important as well. Yeah, that's actually a, a very good hit. If that was. Mm -hmm. 
but now we see the bow is gonna come up. Uh, kill the knife juggler. Yep. The traps are yeah. so strong too, especially snake. I mean, if he mm -hmm. naturally draws that, this bow is just gonna do so much work. Dark Iron Dwarf is really the only good answer to the bow. Okay, that's a good draw for yeah, it's a there. It's a great draw. It's actually most Zudaks only have the one three drop. Oh, well, I love copy killer in mm -hmm. right there. Okay. Uh, you're probably checking here. Try to find an antler. Yeah, or just like an animal companion, so you can develop the board. I mean, you're tracking before anything, because I think you are going to do it this turn. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Except uh, if he wa if he wants to advance the. Oh bow. yeah, he's just going to web spinner bow. Spin bow. That's, yeah, that's, that's just better good. actually. Yeah, yeah. When I think about it, yeah, that that's makes sense. Better. And we also miss him. Mm -hmm. Same case. Oof. So two oh, dark oh, and so far in the same hand. So Zeus four drops are pretty much always defender of Argus and dark iron dwarf. And uh, when all your minions are dead, your turn four is zoo is usually so weak. Web spinner is just taking advantage of that. Whoa. Buzzard baby. Yes, oh. please. Buzzard zero. That low tap is not going to do actually much at work because I think. No, but low tap is stops the Sunfire Doomguard. Yeah. But I mean, the Doomguard is going to kill it and you still need to kill it with the weapon. I and what is really important to say here is that. If Gara will be forced to kill the Doom Guard with weapon, he will come down to 13 HP. Mm -hmm. And the Soul Fire survives Ooh. with his Doom Guard. So I think it's start it can start to be really, really. Okay. You could track for a low minion and then go 50 50 with 100 man. Yeah. Just I think nice. that was a mistake from uh, from Lothar. I think I would have gone face with the Doom Guard. Yeah, I think so. I like that too. Yeah. Uh, because. You need to push for damage. Uh, the Hunter's Mark would have punished him, but mm -hmm. it still, I think it was the right play. Yeah, from his perspective, he could have played that. So, you just take the kill command here, right? Tempting mm, to take probably. high main. You don't want to It's tempting, but I don't think you need to, I guess. Like, I guess if you take it, like... Uh, maybe you just you want could uh, take Savannah, maybe. Yeah, you could and take play it, yeah. like something like Buzzard, trade with Face, and then uh, Savannah. Yeah. Yeah, high main's actually probably better. You can afford to take the hit for five. Exactly, and he has buzzer there as well. You might just run out of cards and lose the life tap. Otherwise, it's a it's a good play. Yep. I think uh, last turn for Zoo, Doom Guard's card is uh, the best possible card for him because <laughs> he kept Argus. Mm -hmm. You can see the buzzer being played on both of the players' side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, buzzer yeah. down. A Soulfire hitting a minion when he's got his opponent at thirteen is not really what he wants to do, but you can't really let it live there. You draw a card, trade with the flame imp. Oh, All right, high main boys, and he's really low. Like, okay, I, Zoo is definitely in it. If it draws Doom Guard this turn, it's definitely. Yeah. It and he can Doom actually. Guard, yeah. Oh, oh. Friendly, if you play Doom Guard, you tap, and if you get Soul Fire, so bad. Definitely tap. Yeah. Ouch! That was the only draw. It could get him back into the game. Yeah. And coming back to what you said, when he actually just goes I don't think to face that's there, a hard decision. Guard, you need that, yeah. Yeah, yeah you just go face. Oh, yeah. Yeah. who's coming too late? Uh, does he gonna play Hellmaster? Do we know? Uh, he might have won. Uh, now I think, yeah, he's gonna have to juggle. So you kill the. You could play. You you kill the two three first, mm -hmm. I guess. You just have to kill. Y you could hand his for the Argus. Yeah, if you leave him. And throw Savannah into Doomguard. Yeah. And go for the knives. Just go to two three with the Savannah, play Savannah, and just hope for the two three two. So he misplayed actually, because the right. Yeah, this is a misplay. You could have Hunter's Mark Argus and trade it with Doomguard. Yeah, exactly. Both at one one. Yeah, yeah. But that was hard to see. Oh. oh. Well, it didn't matter. It worked well, out for Okay, him. so you're seeing two Doomguards, one Soulfire. There's only one card left. And oh. oh. There it is. And there it is. That's pretty unlucky, but yeah. That's Zoo. You could tap here. It was double Soulfire. 50% soul chance to not so Because now he discarded those and handed the Soul. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was like double Doom Guard, double Soulfire, and like 15 cards or something like that. That's just not insane. Good. It had to be Doom Guard that turn. That was the only card that could get him into it. And then still, yeah, wow. Well, that's Hearthstone. All right, so Gara's unbeatable hunter has okay. succumbed to Soulfire and Doom Guard <coughs> pointed at the face. I uh, I think we've all been there before. Yeah. Let's see. A lot of times. Ooh. So he decides to go for the Gromash, uh, aka Warrior. I think this 
can be yeah. actually pretty good. Like, you really want to hard mill again for your weapon. Uh, but if you mm. also play unstable duels and stuff like that in your deck, this uh, this matchup is actually terribly for Valier. If you build it that way. Oof, there it is. He's got War Axe. But right? still has a noose. That's so true. That, that's a big deal. Especially if you can't see. Yeah, there's no way he's going to play around it. Yeah. yeah, of course you don't. But he see he has seen the Eus because it got discarded. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. That's true. Okay, there's the fiery war axe. Uh, Ooze is gonna probably like 99% come up next turn. Um, then I think we've seen unstable duel. <laughs> Good deal. If you Gara, do you play unstable duel here? I don't think so, right? You wanna get more value of it. Uh, you just play. I just play your oh. second weapon. <laughs> you have second weapon. We're not talking about. Got him. <laughs> Never mind, never mind. So that second weapon is really, really Who's good. getting killed by a weapon is the irony in QS4. All right, Haunted Creeper boys, pass back. So now the game gets kind of interesting. I like just Acolyte here, and I, I'm not sure if I would attack or not. I, I wouldn't. Like, that threat of the other friend of August is there. That's um, true. Yeah, it's a similar attack. Now he gets punishment by Rebel Wolf. Yeah. And it's like either way you walk into some mm. card. That's a great draw for Lothar, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. What do you do here? I think you could maybe attack the dwarf and play Unstable Duel. Or I don't really like that, actually. Play the two That's two really terrible. Uh, you want to attack the dwarf, Taskmaster, yeah. mm -hmm. and armor up. Yep. This seems good. Taskmaster, armor up. You don't like Taskmaster, Unstable Duel? Uh, no, actually, I don't really like it because in this matchup, duels get so much more value. And we actually seen a lot. Okay, so he doesn't just play. Then this is better. greedy I against the Fender of Argus. Like yeah. Really like he might get punished because. Uh, he will get punished because he actually knows that. Yeah, he has the Argus. Argus. Oh, he can still clear the board of Shield Slam the turn after. Oh, the, and that one drop is a great draw as well. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the Zoo reverse sweep. I just feel it. Oh, you man. You think he will 3-0? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've seen you do it before. Said kind of, yeah. Nagara has Shaman, but I, you know, I think it's the double Doomhammer Lava Burst Shaman, if I had to guess. And that deck is not, part it's not horrible against Zoo, but it's not particularly great. You have a lot of dead cards in the matchup, yeah. so. I mean you need specific cards to win the matchup. The question is, how does Gara feel about this Rogue? Like, is he confident with it? No. I think if you're confident with Rogue, they just go and kill Rogue you pretty is easily. Rogue is decent versus Zoo. It's yeah, Rogue is really decent against Zoo. If you have coin. I, I, think, th I think it's... Uh, Really iffy, actually. It really depends who has coin. Yeah, that's true. All right, well. Mm -hmm. I didn't like this. You don't like this? How else is would you do? Is he planning to go I face think you want to buff up Wolf for your 1-1. One, one. He wants because to go face with the Because this way the Taskmaster is going to kill it anyway. Yeah. Like, okay, you gain 5 damage on a face, but you sacrifice like 1-2-1. One, one, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a big deal. I think five damage is better than the one, two, one. Maybe not. Perhaps. Yeah, it's a different, appro a different approach. I don't think either play is better than the other. Well, yeah. it's not just even five damage. It's like three damage, right? It's three damage and constant two damage in the future. So it's not actually. That's true, but it's going to be like three turns before it makes that, four f makes that five damage up. Mm. So how many shield slams do you play here? I like... I like uh, maybe, well, if you play nothing, you telegraph it shield brawl. But I think you shield slam the Undertaker. Yeah, yeah if you shield slam the Undertaker for sure, you can't let it grow. So you do have silence. Yeah, you could just play the Owl. Mm -hmm. I kind of like the play the Owl play, actually. Just play the it. No, that's not just it. I mean, you, you can just play You can play both and, and kill the Argus. Mm -hmm. And uh, leave only a silence Undertaker on board. Mm-hmm. I think that's fine. You kind of want to keep one of your shield slams in case you draw shield block. Yeah. Still have an answer for Doom Guard. This is the issue though with Warrior. Like it just succumbs to life tap at a certain point. Although that this def this uh, Dark Iron Dwarf draw was so like it didn't look flashy, but it's so insane. Yeah, that Dark Iron Dwarf saves the game. I think actually, like if there wasn't the Dark Iron Dwarf, that game would yeah. be really hard to win for. Acolyte would have drawn three cards, at least two. Yeah, that uh, at that point it pretty much belongs to the warrior. Mm -hmm. The acolyte gives so much value. So 
uh, and then that the was a good draw as well. If they care first of all. Yeah. Another really good top deck uh, for Lothar because he could actually get to play a lot of cards. And then nothing else to play for him. Oh, so, oh much, so much damage. You go all in on this Voidwalker right now. Just we so do. you can. I think we do. Yeah, because yeah. you have Doom Guards in the deck. So. Yeah. Alex Travis. If you are tapping with four mana, so you, are, you will surely play something in hand. Jeez. Well, a lot of damage. the guard goes from 21 to 5. Standard zoo can. Yep. Do you out brawl? It depends what you draw. Um, I guess now you actually have to go RMB Cowl and brawl, hope your <laughs> owl is going to survive. I've seen this turn before. Or not. Whoa. Yep. And that's okay. Well, that's okay. things are definitely uh, turning around. You know, Zoo is a deck that can sweep anything. And uh, I feel like Lothar's draws have been coming exactly, you know. The Hunter game was pretty insane. Yeah. Doomguard into soul f into the last Soulfire. Yeah. The last Doomguard into the last Soulfire back to back. And, and this game, too, he just drew everything he needed. It wasn't yeah. Doomguard so far this time, but he drew the Dark Iron, he drew the yeah. damage when he needed it, he won the Brawl. Yep. Well. That's the power of the Zoo. Um, I think Zoo, in like every meta, past eight, nine rounds, was the deck that like didn't really have like a really, really terrible matchup. Uh, it can pretty much beat everything. Yeah. It can be beaten by everything, but... Um, yeah, the deck is... Uh, I think this will match way to have. Good. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have to play this if you don't need to. And if you are behind, you can just use it like uh, it's being used right now. Yep. All right. I like Gara's choice to pick Rogue, of course. He doesn't get coin. Oh, that's Eve again. Yeah. Eve banishing. Um, I mean, uh, Gara actually plays like a little bit board heavy uh, Miracle Road, which is going to be quite yeah. good against you. Much, much better than the normal mm -hmm. ones, like with the Azul Drake or just the Maligos one. Okay. Uh, I mean, not as yeah, uh, that one. Or if you play some Arcane Golem versions, which is not as powerful as well. And Deadly Poison backstab is a really good pickup. Yeah. And Parsir as well. So he's gonna be happy about it. Ooh, Ooh wow, that's nice. a really anti-zoot hand, right? That there. backstab really makes up uh, for mm -hmm. the fact that he doesn't have coin. Turn three weapon, turn three Parsir, turn four Deadly Poison Assaiyajin if you need it. You can play turn three backstab Assai. That's pretty good. That's a great point about uh, backstab making up uh, for the coin curse. Uh, it's it's so tough to combo sometimes when you don't have that. Jeez, yeah. that's a great draw. Do you just Thalmus backstab? I think. Yeah, right. of course. Yeah, yeah why, why won't you? Uh, comboing SI <laughs> is like not too tough on turn four or five. He already has the poison. You know, so yeah, exactly. And uh, this Thalmus will probably play with the labor if it's so strong. Yeah, it's just pretty strong as well. Yeah. You can have another card. Basically. Whenever you can kill something with Thalmus. Uh, by the way, did we see did Lothar see three? I think he did, right? I think he did, and he also drew into a Doom Guard. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Doom Guard is the best card, uh, well, besides Lothar in the yeah. Z deck uh, against Rogue. So hard to kill with it. Oh, uh, one thing that like Miracle sometimes has uh, trouble with against the Zoo is that even though they sometimes have like really early removal they will run out of cards mm -hmm. uh which can happen pretty easily if you don't get draw into opening and stuff like that mm -hmm. so that's something gara will need to watch out for but definitely not much you can do about it just have to hope you see some azure drakes or something like that yeah you think you just play naked direwolf here mm -hmm. and go face probably go face because three damage oh no no you, you i think you might need the trade weapon uh, if, he, if he has oh. fan of knives this is going to be wrecked but i, I agree the, the face attack like I would feel behind yeah. here if I was... Y uh, even a Sith, so Rexy, because he kills yeah. the direct. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I guess. That's a good point, yeah. The shift is Miracle as well. It's a difficult decision, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Lepernum just wants to attack face <laughs> so badly, all the time. I mean, that's what it backstabs. Essentially does like it backs uh, was making that for shit, Kinokamaya, mm -hmm. and he played like 
before the qualifiers, and then he had made three decks. All of them had other base damage, and if you're in doubt, just go crazy. Mm. So that's kind of the idea for this time. Yeah. Ooh. That's just gonna be really good. So if he didn't have that auctioneer, I would say just prep right now. But he does yeah. have it, so I think you save the preparation and just go for the poison. Yeah. Definitely. Go for the poison. I think I can actually go for the parsley here. Yeah. yeah, I think Parsi has to play this. I would definitely poison. Like we know he has ooze, so that's like why oh we're yeah. why we're saying that. But yeah. it. But I mean, even without it, I think actually Parsi is better here because Kenneth also has the direwolf Wolf Alpha straight up. Uh, okay. Which that I like it's actually turn three, so there's not gonna be dark out wolf coming up. That's a good point. Uh, so the Dark Alpha yeah. is gonna die because of the Parsi here, and you don't have to buy your deadly poison card for it. You're not too scared of like abusive sergeant or anything, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah, because I mean, if you, you get abusive sergeant, like you can just do that really easily in America. Mm -hmm. So, like I have this matchup like so much in the past. So, so what? Uh, yeah. what are people cutting for acidic ooze? We've kind of seen that from a couple of players this weekend, I think. To be honest, I have no idea. I Maybe really hunt creeper. Black as much. I like saving the poison. Might have yeah, a second use. Nice but but he has been banished by use the previous year. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's all bad. Oh. And, uh, well, it's going to be tough. Well, Gar's hand is good, but that's a low theb and a Doom Guard. This is, uh, is going to be interesting. Yeah. You trigger the Drake here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. No reason not to. And so Gar's going to need to see, like, an Eviscerate or some way to deal with that 4 4. But he has double spread. That's a big change. Yeah. I think, uh,. And a lot of it is great, but if Oxygenary draws every card in the card mm. when they oh. turn his blade, I would sap 100%. I would sap that for sure. Because the the best sap target in all of Zoo is Dark Iron Dwarf, and the Ruby Egg is basically Almost for sure. yeah. So I mean, sometimes it might be even better. He doesn't even yeah get the double buff, so it's pretty good for sure. All right, Edwin, interesting. If that makes it tempting to save the the prep, prep, but you still probably play it. Yeah, you can't let him have a creature. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Do you consider that? I think he comes here. I think he's going to be thinking about Lothab. I think he still comes here. Yeah, I think he do. And you can play Deadly Poison next turn, even with Lothab. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not that bad. Alright. Best card in... Well, okay, I'm not sure. What do you think is a better card? Lothab or Mad Scientist? Oh, that's a hard, mm. tough call. I guess Lothab, because <laughs> because all the classes don't have uh, uh, secrets. secrets. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> Imagine if you could have but two Lothabs. That yeah. would be insane. <laughs> but other than that, like if you just compare it, for example, for Hunter, or for the classes that have actually the secrets, I think it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. Curse has a good point. If you could play two Lothabs in the deck. Yeah. I mean, I can oh, does that not exist, I think. Mm. Yeah. If you're going to play it in this order, that's interesting. I guess the two damage doesn't yeah it doesn't do yeah, anything. If, if, if there was no point in giving two damage anyway. Yeah, you could like hero power the defender, but yeah, mm -hmm. no difference between a two or a four health auctioneer. Either way, it's getting killed, I think. Yeah. All right, so. Do you play Doom Guard here, or do you want to develop the? I think you should play Doom Guard. Because I'll just like take a Doom Guard so at least. Yeah, because like we know that there was no AOE removal from Gara yet. So you pretty much could consider that as a swap. I think I'd rather play Ooze, Undertaker, and Rubian. Mm -hmm. Agree. No, actually. Mm -hmm. that's maybe, that's maybe, maybe. Or maybe Juggler, Undertaker, and the Rubian. Yeah. And you get really lucky. Kill the Xenu? Oh, oh. That would be really lucky. I mean, you kind of really want to keep that ooze for something else later, but it doesn't make sense for it. Lothar agrees with me. You just lose out on so much if you uh, if Doom Guard it. with a hand like this. Oh no, I I wouldn't say do the Doom Guard so much. Say like Mandragor. Oh yeah. I felt I felt Mandragor was pretty better here. All right. So the board is filled up again for Zoo, but at this point, Rogue actually has minions in play that he can attack oh. with. And that played very well. And this is where good. the game snowballs. 
can if actually you, do everything Doomgar with Sheik uh, as well. Yeah. You can do everything with Sheik. If Putin right? have Doomguard, that could be game over. No, this is. I think it's actually it's kind of like game over because he can remove the whole board and keep mm -hmm. all of his minions. He still has space. He still has a lot of creatures to play against the minions. He can absorb another two cards. Yeah, um, I agree with you. It I gets think Gar Gar's gonna win the set here. That was a yeah. huge pickup this turn. Without that, you know, he had to be a little clever to deal with the board, but now it's gonna be a very clean, straightforward sweep. Yeah. And even that Eviscerate just means that the Doom Guard just like gotta do much work in the future. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. that's the way it is. Uh he's gonna play some the Doom Guard through one of the minions. You're gonna whisper the different clever creatures. You're gonna get those one ones from Game Boy. So we probably won't see the zoo three O wing. Is that fortunate? We almost did though. Yeah, it was so close. <laughs> oh, that hunter thing! I still, <laughs> I still kind of. What kind of steal that. handsome genius invented this zoo deck that can three O <laughs> from any position? I've heard his name was like Andre Yanuk. Oh. oh, I've seen that guy stream. It's pretty is terrible. he good? But his chat is so entertaining though. Like <laughs> so, sometimes I just mute the guy and I just watch the chat. It's a love hate <laughs> relationship. <laughs> We're actually talking about this with Gara a lot. Like when we playing Heroes of the Charge. But yeah, I just wanted to point out one thing funny about Gara. Like his preparation for this tournament was playing with me, Hero uh, Heroes of the Storm, mm -hmm. for like three days in a row, and that was pretty much it. Yeah. Oh, That's he he did prepare a strife girl a lot too. Oh yeah yeah yeah. He prepared with the Strife Girl because I feel it was uh, for the for the tournament stuff. Mm -hmm. But I mean, second after dude. that, we see second dude. Yeah, there are two of them. I wonder what they're cutting. Right, we still saw. Yeah. Maybe they don't play Haunted Creeper. Have we seen Haunted Creeper from the Zoo deck? No, we no. haven't seen Haunted Creeper. Yeah, yeah. But that's probably it. it makes I feel it's like so weak though. But I don't know. It I makes mean, the Undertaker is pretty weak. Like the Undertakers aren't exceptional in Zoo to begin with. Yeah, exactly. but if you round them, you mm -hmm. have we've to play the Creeper. Like, yeah, we've seen your Beanite. At least one Creeper. Cutting both, I think, is too much. Yeah. Oh, the sap on Flamen. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Conceal, eviscerate face. I wouldn't even eviscerate face, I'd just conceal. Yeah, don't need to. I mean, you can eviscerate, no, I think you, you eviscerate. cannot actually tap. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of actually better. It doesn't matter now, but... You get an extra minion, I guess, to conceal. Yeah. The thing is, you have to banish an HP, and that doesn't seem to be better at this point. Yeah. All right, well. So Gar is going to create face. Definitely, really close series. Gar is going to advance three to two. Gar boys, really nice games. Yeah. Tempo Storm still showing as a fantastic roster despite recent changes. So congratulations to Gar, still def trying to defend his title. He's all the way through to the semifinals of this event after having won it just six months ago. And yeah. Uh, yeah, playing playing really well so far, I think. I mean, yeah. he is my black horse. Um, if I could bet on him that he's gonna win the GMAC before coming to this event, I would bet on him. Uh, I think you would bet on him now too. <laughs> oh yeah, I would bet on him as well, honestly, hundred percent. If I he can beat the Zuki, he can beat anything. It's gonna be really tough. Uh, if I win this match, then there's gonna be like team kill, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate the way brackets worked out. Uh, hyped is the next match. It's gonna be hyped versus, be no, not Bakus. Is it Bakus? No. Hyped. Oh, here we go. Hyped versus Stein. Stein. Yeah. Or Stein. I don't know how you pronounce oh, this it. This would be a good Stein? match though. Stein. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get an interview with Gar for you guys. Uh, okay. Cur Chris, we'll see you back in the uh, soonish. I hope so. All right. <laughs> okay. Get in here, Thanks for having me. No problem. Come on, buddy. Give some Heroes of the Storm reference for the viewers. Sure, sure. So, congratulations, man. Thanks, Good man. Good job. Thanks, boss. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> a, it's a very classy jersey you have there. I like it. Oh, slick. Okay, Gara, first of all, congratulations. But my first question is how did that sneaky Nova, when you can go invisible place, prepare for your rogue match today? Dude. Conceals, man. Conceals, right? I, I was saying, like... Conceal, don't fear. You, you conceal your Nova, then you use your... And then one-shot my opponent. Exactly. 
Uh, oh, the three shot thing that kills everything. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, screw that ability. I played Heroes of the Storm like once. So. It's it's great game. Yeah. So we saw a really interesting series from uh, from you and Lothar. You know, a lot of Zoo, a lot of Hunter. <laughs> but uh, you know, close games. How how did you feel? I would have been tilting off after the uh, the Hunter Super loss with Zoo with the Doom Guard off the top into the Soul Fire. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, I would have tilted when I would have uh, lost three zero to Zoo. Because I only prepared against Zoo. All the practice, all the matches was against Zoo. All my decks to have a lineup against Zoo because it's very hard to counter Zoo. Mm -hmm. And if I would have lost 3 or to Zoo, I would be actually pretty salty. But this Ust uh, tech is really strong actually because yeah. the strongest counter, like what I figured out, is Warrior. Mm -hmm. Priest is not that good, it's not consistent. And if you play Ust, it's like you have a really good shot. Definitely. Yeah, we saw him use it on that axe if you didn't have the second one. And yeah. And yeah, you yeah. did. It's but I lost it anyways. Yeah. Brutal. Uh, yeah, it was really close. So, uh, going into the match, uh, did you feel like either of you were favored? Like, when you saw the lineups, how, how did you feel um, in terms of classes? Yeah, when, when my Hunter was not banned, I was like, yeah, I have good <laughs> chance to free all with Hunter. Yeah. Like Almost happened. Yeah, and I think that's very likely. Uh, yeah, my Hunter list is very strong. Um, I didn't expect him to pick Mage. Like, I was mm -hmm. very surprised yeah. that. Yeah, we were too. We are both, yeah. Like, I'm I wonder what he thought I would open with. I really yeah. wonder. Maybe like he thought you were gonna next level him. And yeah, but but which deck? I like. I wanted to know what, what mm. he wanted to pick it against. Like, yeah, I it really must wonder. Have been shaman, shaman, or shaman, or I guess or shaman. Yeah. I don't Even know. Even shaman isn't yeah. that bad against this. Yeah. 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 So I wonder like what the. But maybe, he was like, I have ah, I think because I have hunter to counter the mage, mm -hmm. because he didn't ban it, so he might get a win with the mage if I don't open with hunter. That's or a good point. Like that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we got some time. Sure, we can get Lothar in here for a bit too. Oh, okay. But uh, how do you feel, uh, go, you know, moving forward throughout the rest of this tournament? We're gonna see uh, Hyped versus Stein next. Uh, yeah. Who do you think is favored in that match? Uh, I think Hyped, yeah, I don't, because I don't know the other guy. Yeah. So yeah. you think it's most likely you're gonna be playing against a teammate next yeah. round? That's a bit well, unfortunate. Yeah. How uh, do you I like? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. I don't like the uh, to play against Hyped because he knows exactly every single card I play, mm -hmm. and I don't know like his list, mm -hmm. but. I showed him like exactly everything I play and I explained him why I play every single card. <laughs> so uh, I think he will be prepared. Like this will be a good match, but I don't care. If I lose yeah. to Hyped, I mean, As one of us is done in semifinals, so. No, yeah. One if of us is going into finals. Yeah. If, if you lose to Hyped, like, or what? Wait, is that finals? Uh, like because the this winner is quarterfinals, so what? next game is going to be yeah. semifinals. Let's well, so not count Stein out of it yet, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, just saying. So if Hyped wins, then mm. one of us will be in finals. Yep. That's Guaranteed. awesome. Yeah. So I don't <laughs> care. Yeah. Well, hey, man. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, congratulations. Still, still going strong, defending your title. I hope to see you take it down. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in your next match. Thanks. All Thanks. right, let's get uh, let's get Lothar in here for a bit. Okay. You can see the uh, sudden viewer bump from influx of female viewers. Oh, how, 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 yeah. How are you doing, Lothar? Well, I'm kind of bummed. Yeah. Well, uh, I really, when I analyzed the matchups, uh, I felt that I can be easily swept by Rogue with zero. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, I anticipated that Gara might think so. So he will open up with uh, Rogue. Mm -hmm. And that's why I picked Mage first. So I can squeeze in a win because of being Mage. When okay. it actually gets a good draw, not like this one. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Like, the counter spells have value. Mm -hmm. Like insane value in at some points when y you just have to squeeze some damage and then f finish him off with fireballs. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we were wondering about that that first pick because because to us you you have four decks and you're playing a best of five, so one of yeah. your decks you can basically not play. Yeah. So we were thinking, you know, if the mage is the weakest overall, maybe you were just never gonna play it and yeah. then just it's open. It's really running. strong. Yeah, it, it it is good. Not against this lineup not though. Shaman, rogue, hunter. It's uh, it's like this against hunter. It's really quick. Okay. Because even if he has flares, uh, the important thing that Mage has to d and to get is our counter spells. Because mm -hmm. you don't care about the flare gun. It's just one for one. Yeah. And most most of the time, you get this for free. Mm -hmm. Because you have Mad Scientist and Killing Toll. Mm -hmm. But you have to get like you know a combo with them. Yeah. So yeah. that didn't happen. And yeah, that was it. And then mm, in the second game, uh, I was really thinking hard about picking Zoo first. Mm -hmm. Because my zoo is built so that it actually crushes hunters. So we s we yes, saw that. The oozes, the oozes were yeah. like really yeah, good against hunters. The oozes, well. and I, I did cut one flame imp, 
Mm-hmm. So Interesting. It, it's a better matchup against Hunter because y- you don't pay so much health with mm-hmm. the minions. And the ooze is actually like... It, d- it turns the matchup like the other way around. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I thought about picking Zoo to uh, second. But the thing is, like, um, after... If I wouldn't won with the uh, Zoo against Hunter, then... Uh, well, basically, I don't have anything uh, against uh, against Makes Hunter, sense. and um, I wanted really to get Detroit um, to win the first match. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, against Hunter is like a coin flip, fifty-fifty depends on the draw. Mm-hmm. Um, so then I could just play against the Rogue because I I knew that the Rogue would be third, so I can play Druid into Rogue and not be on like you know the this situation that I was just in, like Zoo versus Miracle Rogue, which is basically almost unwinnable when yeah. when Miracle Rogue gets backstabs agents and stuff like that so yeah makes that a lot of sense also double undertaker with web spinner yeah that was disgusting that was really nasty. weapon double savannah high main i don't know if i could actually somehow win that matchup yeah no, 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 no. <laughs> no deck beats that draw like yeah. i mean like we've been pretty much saying it just over at like turn three yeah. Yeah. That with one undertaker i could have easily got that game like I had, he had one frostbolt for the first one. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking about the druid. Oh, the druid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had the double hunted creeper from my side. Oh yeah, your your draw was fantastic too. Turn four, Sylvanas, the double haunted creeper, power of the wild. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I couldn't handle just two undertakers. Yeah. That was too much. Yeah, with card is balanced, huh? Yeah. yeah, with one with one undertaker, th- there was a route to to um, just kill it. But with double, just sitting there like. Well, that happened. Okay, we can move on to game three, and I have uh, to kill it 3-0 with Zoo, which will feel also bad, because now you know it's Zoo. Yeah. But well, I feel like Zoo is one of the strongest decks in current meta game. Yeah, it's really good. It's like insanely strong against Hunter, insanely strong against Warrior, against Druid is also very good, and what uh, you just ban Warlock because you don't have to, uh, you don't want to play mirror matches. And well, handlock can be like flip, uh, flipping a coin, so you you got covered like most of the field with just one deck. Yeah. Absolutely. I well. mean, like when I was like when I was looking at the deck lineup, it was you were like really in disadvantage in my opinion. Like uh, Garus lineup of decks was so strong against your lineup. Yeah, uh, his yeah. lineup was really strong against mine. Mm-hmm. That that rogue deck could if he would pick the rogue deck first, it could have ended three zero, and yeah. I would like be like. Mm. Okay, that happened to you, and it yep. will feel really bad. But at least it's two three, not a three three two. Yeah, I mean three three zero, but yeah, uh, close that. That's mine. S- that's my second top eight at the dream hack. Yeah. So look, looking forward to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey man, congratulations! It was a good run. Consistently making it out of group stages. Now you're finishing in the top half of pretty much every tournament you're playing in. So hopefully we'll start seeing you in more events. Uh, definitely showing that you deserve to be here. And uh, best of luck in the next one, man. Thank you, man. So we are going to get into the next game. It'll be our last quarterfinals of the day. It's going to be Hyped versus Stein. Don't go anywhere, guys. See you in about five minutes.